Hi guys, my name is Erica. I'm a math tutor and today I'm going to show you a little Desmos hack on how to solve for radicals. Um, essentially how to simplify radicals into radical form. So for example, you might be like, well I can just plug that into the calculator. Um, let's say you want to find what square root 320 is. Desmos is going to give that to you automatically um, as like a decimal. But if you want this answer in radical form, there's a little hack, okay? So we're going to do um, radical 320. We're going to leave that up there just so you guys can see it as like reference of what we're working on. So what we're going to want to do, it's a little hack, okay? Table. So the way you do that with table oh, no, is you just type out table with your keyboard. And once you push E, it automatically does a table for you. Um, so then what you want to do up here, I like to get rid of those sub ones. Um, and where Y is, we're going to do the number that is underneath the radical symbol, and then we're going to do divided by x squared. Um, a little trick on your keyboard, people, people always ask, how do you do the squared? Um, on your keyboard, above the 6, there's going to be a little caret, so you want to do shift and then push, usually it's 6, but whatever button has a little caret. Um, let me see if I can, the caret looks like, oh, it's not going to give it to you. It just looks like a little... I don't know, I, upside down V, I guess you would say. Um, so what we're going to do is do a caret square. Okay, that's what we want to do. On the left hand side, we're going to do negative two, negative one, uh, zero, <laughs> one, two, and then just start doing enter, 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 enter. Now the idea here is you can see that Desmos is starting to graph it, but the idea here with our um, table, oops, is we want to get to the point where we're having a lot of decimal after decimal after decimal after decimal. Once we get to the point where we're all getting only decimals on the right hand side, we want to scroll back up. And once we hit the first full whole number, which for us here is five, so scroll to the bottom. Okay, you're getting a bunch of decimals. Scroll up until you hit the first whole number again, which is going to be five. And that's going to be your answer in radical form. So the answer is going to be. Whatever's on the right hand side is underneath the radical and then what's next to it, so the 8 for example, is going to be outside of the radical. So the answer of square root 320 in radical form, like simplified, is 8 times square root 5. For example, if you're not a, here, let me back up so I can show you, I'm just making space, um, oh my goodness, okay, 8 square radical 5, the answer would be 8 square root 5. So if you want to compare that answer to this first one, you can see it's the same. 17.889, 17.889. And that's how you do it. A little hack in Desmos, you will never have to do, <laughs> you know, the, the way you do it by hand ever again. This is actually one of my favorite hacks because I don't like radicals at all. Um, anyways, um, again, I'm an SAT tutor and I do also do algebra tutoring and geometry tutoring. So if you need help and need tutoring, I offer those services. Um, link for that is going to be down in the bio and let me know if you have any questions. So thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.